So when all of this happened, it was obviously a big deal. And the images just into us tonight are rather incredible. They show Mike Pence, the vice president, looking at men inside a chain link cage. That's a fun story. Yeah, a U.S. Border Patrol agent is going viral with social media dubbing her Ice Bay. Her name is Kiara Cervantes, and a lot of guys, obviously, they found her very attractive, and so she just became this phenomenon. My phone was, like, ringing all day long. There was no pause in the zzz, zzz. It was just zzz. <laughs> It's funny because I just don't see it. <laughs> Hi, guys. And then all these leftists were like, really? You're lusting over a Nazi? You're a fucking disgrace to your entire culture. You disgust me. If I could go back and not be there, I would. You want Papa? You want Papa? Have they been getting better? Yeah, they're better now. Story of my life. My name is Chiara Cervantes. I live in Laredo, Texas. Do you want ketchup? Ketchup? No, don't be throwing it. I'm law enforcement, and people on the internet know me as Ice Bay. While I was on a temporary assignment, the vice president was visiting, and that was exciting. This is what Vice President Mike Pence saw Friday on his visit to a detention facility in McAllen, Texas. I felt kind of nervous just because the amount of people that there were versus me in the middle, only female. And it got crazy, you know, everybody stood up, everybody was yelling. Grabbing onto the chain link fence, detainees shouted to the cameras. That's obviously a nerve wracking situation, especially if you're law enforcement. I saw the cameras there and I said, this is, you know, a one of a kind picture. The uniform plus silhouette plus the controversy right now made ice bay. She was still there at the house living with me. Uh, she had told me that um, she was going to come out on TV. I was jokingly just saying that I was it was going to go on the internet and go viral. But I was joking. I was joking. Back then, I didn't have Twitter. I didn't want Twitter. So it was my family who messaged me and was like, hey, you're trending on Twitter. And I started to look at the comments. I was surprised that there was so much negative things to say about me. And like the whole world has an opinion, except me. So I decided to make my Twitter. That was my intent. Um, good evening, you guys. Uh, I just kind of wanted to come on here to say a few words. I still am getting used to this, I guess, whatever this may be. Um, I kind of just want something positive to come out of this, if anything. I got 16,000 likes, 8.9 million views. 5,000 comments. When I saw that number, I was like, wow, that's pretty insane, I think. Everything that's been going on, I'm kind of going to give my opinion. when people hate on me, but when you bully other people, that pisses me off. It's been a long, hard, hard day, but it's my Friday. A large part of my fans are very political. And then you have the physical fans. <laughs> like, I know this must be really frustrating for some people, I don't feel objectified. It's just the internet. I can say I don't have many female fans. <laughs> the internet, you know, sometimes can be mean and it could be 
great. You know, it just depends the audience that are out there, you know, what they want to say about you and, you know, how they want to hurt you or how they want to motivate you. I'm not an ICE officer, I'm a CBP officer. If you look up a CBP officer, it's completely different from what an ICE officer does. So I can't really say specifics or details of what I do. I can say that I do as much as any other law enforcement official does. You know, the arresting, detaining, the seizing. but I feel like mine is a little bit more open or I have more authority. Going viral and having like thousands and thousands of people wanting answers from me just because of where I work, it was overwhelming because they don't get it. I don't think a lot of people know Laredo's really a small, small town, and it's definitely a border town. That's all there is here, Hispanic people. I don't really feel a tie to Mexico or the need to say I'm Mexican-American just because I was born here. There's a job to be done. There's a lot of things that, you know, the public doesn't see that we have to see. What I've seen, what I've been through, I'm never 100% off. And no matter how tough you are or how trained you are, you're still just a regular person and it hits you. I can think about moments that I had three years ago and I can go back like if it was just yesterday and I can feel that like not in my throat again. It's a great job. There's a lot of good to it. There's obviously a lot of um, questionable things that people have, opinions about what I do at my job. Just because of how big the controversy got, it was obviously an issue, being that I'm somewhere that security is very important. I started to have like really bad anxiety, not sleeping at night. I think I cried sometimes. Yeah, there was definitely some days that I just couldn't handle it. So I actually saw this article on Wired. The Ice Bay meme captures the worst of 2019 so far. It's come to this. Hashtag Ice Bay. What about your people, bitch? As a Hispanic, you're a fucking disgrace to your entire culture. You disgust me. I hope whenever she walks into work, she sees the faces of her parents. I think my Twitter filters a lot of this out for me. <laughs> which is good a lot of them were in reference to my family like you should be ashamed you don't know me my perspective has changed about Twitter I went into it like with a positive vibe positive energy got a lot of negative negative every single day and now it's just I keep my distance <laughs> <laughs> they're beautiful pictures oh. So you. Mm -hmm. Cuando estaba bebita. This was me in karate. They hit me in the stomach, blew my air out. I was so upset that when I got back in, I just went full force on her. And I just kept hitting her with the side of my hand till she just gave up. Um, <laughs> sí. Estaba sorprendido cuando entré a la academia. Sí, sí, como no, porque es trabajo muy, muy especial. Protege los... Los puentes, todo eso. Es bonito para uno tener a alguien que trabaje ahí. Como la vi la televisión y todo esto con el vicepresidente y todo, pues sientes una alegría que, jovencita, como toda esa gente que pasa gente, puede agarrar rencor porque ella está cuidando las fronteras, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y pueden hacer algo malo, pero gracias a Dios no se vio nada de eso. Uh -huh. Sí se ha cambiado tanto. Sí. Desde cuando usted vino? Sí. Yeah, it has. ¿Cuándo te viniste para acá, a los Estados Unidos? ¿Cómo es? 65. 22, 24 por ahí. 
Yo creo que antes, pues todo el que quería venirse para Estados Unidos, pues metías un, una aplicación para que emigrarte, se dice. Pobrecitos, pues vienen por, por la maldad que hay allá y entran con todas las familias, pero también a Estados Unidos es muy duro. Doctores para ellos, para todas las familias, comida, ropa. Y van muy decepcionados para atrás porque no pueden entrar así, nomás así. Esto fue 50, 60 y 75, 70. 70. ¿Se siente orgulloso para decir que es americano? Mexican, ¿cómo dicen que es uno de los Mexican dos? Mexican-American. Mexican. Uh -huh. Both. Are you saying hi? I think if I had the opportunity to go back and not become Ice Bay, uh, I probably would do that. Just because I don't think I'm the right person for that gig, you know? So I definitely thought there was a way to disable the comments, but I guess not. Somebody else could have done a way better job at becoming Ice Bay and done something with it, or maybe had more of a voice. <laughs> but I feel like I have too much to lose. I mean, obviously, if you get such a big platform, regardless of how you got it, you could totally make a business out of that. I had all types of offers, whether it was from like modeling, promoter, gun shops, things like that. I even got an email, I'll pay $50,000 to go on a date with me. Um, you know, no, I don't do that. For you to succeed in life, the internet's not gonna do that for you. Unless I guess you're an Instagram model. Let's just say Instagram goes down one day, then what? <laughs> Every single day I feel loved, wanted, sexy. I get told that I'm so beautiful. I'm crazy, but I'm beautiful. <laughs> had I not had somebody like that, maybe I would give in to the attention. Maybe I would thrive off of it. I could easily go to my phone and find it, but I really don't need it. I was not happy being like so much in the limelight. It's done and I'm very happy. Yeah.